Do you know who made George St. Pierre an unstoppable MMA phenom? It's the undisputed UFC! Do you know who is the genius behind Gordon Ryan's rise to the top of the BJJ world? The King! Do you know the mastermind who revolutionized Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and created perhaps the most successful BJJ success story of all time? The answer? John Danaher, an individual who has become renowned for his incredible contribution to this sport. He has been credited with ushering in a new era of BJJ, pushing the boundaries and taking it to the next level. His work has not only raised the bar for competitors, but has also inspired a whole new generation of martial artists. Thanks to John Danaher's innovation and dedication, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is now one of the most popular martial arts worldwide. Over the last few years, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has seen an incredible surge in popularity due to its effectiveness and success. As a result, BJJ athletes are now able to make hefty salaries. Just recently, Gordon Ryan has signed a seven-figure deal showing how far the sport has come in such a short amount of time. I went on like my first vacation in 10 years. It was kind of weird to be honest. I got there and three days in, I was like, man, this is cool. And the fourth day, I was like, kind of bored. Credit to his tremendous growth must go to John, who was instrumental in bringing it into the spotlight. John Danaher has never competed in BJJ, so how is he considered a guru of the sport? I have zero accomplishments on my part. I haven't even competed even once, not even once. Everything that I'm known for in Jiu-Jitsu is a result of my students. Do you know the incredible story of John Danaher and his journey from childhood to becoming a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guru? It is an inspirational tale that deserves to be shared. John Danaher was born in 1967 in Washington, D.C., United States. His father was an Air Force pilot from New Zealand who had been stationed in the U.S. just a few years later. John and his family moved back to New Zealand. As the youngest of six siblings, John spent his childhood in Funga Peroa while his father served in the Air Force. During his teenage years, he trained and specialized primarily in striking martial arts such as boxing and kickboxing. John moved to Mairangi Bay in order to pursue his bachelor's degree at the University of Auckland. He went on to complete a master's degree in philosophy and began training karate there in 1991. I had a full financial scholarship when I arrived at Columbia. I think I blew it on booze and women in like um, two weeks. John was awarded a scholarship to attend Columbia University in New York, and he then moved to the United States. After spending his initial stipend, he began searching for a job. It was time for me to get a job. One night I was working down Amsterdam Avenue, and I saw an older gentleman being beaten by a young guy. Without hesitation, he rushed over and threw the attacker away, saving the old man. And he goes, uh, you want a job? Uh, sure. Why don't you work at my nightclub? He was the owner of the club. <laughs> a university colleague introduced John Danaher to the world of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Taking up the suggestion, he began training at Renzo Gracie Academy. As Renzo dedicated more time to writing his book, Danaher started teaching at the same academy alongside him. However, he had many injuries that prevented him from competing, so he focused his energy on coaching and has since become renowned as the Masters of Masters in BJJ. Since then, Danaher has become one of the most sought-after coaches in the world of BJJ. He has trained and coached a number of notable fighters, including George St. Pierre, Chris Weidman, Gary Tannen, Gordon Ryan, and many more. Moreover, he is the mastermind behind the Danaher Death Squad style, which focuses on the development of leg locks and pressure passing. And he told me, I got tapped out five times in five minutes by a guy named John. You were still rolling back then, yes. regularly. When George St. Pierre first met John Danaher, John was able to submit him five times in a span of just five minutes. This left an impression on GSP, who was already a renowned striker, but also had some decent grappling skills. It was clear that John's techniques were far superior to his own, and GSP was extremely impressed by what he saw. Remember, George started at a time when MMA was pretty damn young, and when you entered the sport of mixed martial arts, George, it wasn't even allowed on TV. George St. Pierre first joined the Renzo Gracie Academy in 2002, and from day one, it was clear to Danaher that he had a special talent. Under Danaher's guidance, GSP began sparring with professional boxers as part of his training regimen to enhance his skills in wrestling and boxing. This hard work paid off, and George St. Pierre eventually became one of the greatest MMA fighters of all time and held championship titles in two divisions. The cherry on the cake, I guess. George St. Pierre! 
Danaher is immensely proud of his students and readily gives them credit for all the success he has achieved. In an interview, he said, Everything that I am known for in jiu-jitsu is the result of my students. John Danaher is an exceptional BJJ trainer, bringing his unique philosophy to the sport and breathing new life into it. Now that you've seen the inspiring story of John Danaher, don't forget to subscribe and get a chance to win our monthly giveaway. All you have to do is write I subbed in the comment section below. Now let's get back and watch more of his incredible journey. John Danaher was the mastermind behind the renowned Danaher Death Squad, alongside his students, including Eddie Cummings, Gary Tannen, Gordon Ryan, and Nikki Ryan. They achieved multiple ADCC medals. They are credited as the innovators of leg locks, particularly heel hooks, and are known for being pioneers in the world of grappling. Gordon Ryan is considered one of the most talented students of John Danaher and is widely regarded as one of the greatest no-gi jiu-jitsu practitioners of all time. In his interview with Joe Rogan, Gordon Ryan said that, The most dedicated athlete, I would say, to jiu-jitsu, and it still just pales in comparison. John's like watching like a 1957 boxing match. According to Gordon, John is always eager to acquire new knowledge. In his Instagram post, Gordon expressed his gratitude for Danaher and their shared bond. This goes to show how strong the bond between athletes and coaches can be. Ever since their split from the Danaher death squad, Gordon and John have been inseparable. They decided to pursue their own dreams by relocating to Texas, thereby establishing the New Wave Jiu-Jitsu Academy. From that moment on, they have been an unstoppable duo. This idea, this concept is so fantastic to me to take elite grapplers and pay them for matches and then stream it online and Flow Grappling is doing this and they're very successful. John has breathed new life into BJJ, which was previously seen as a dull sport in which competitors would compete for points. Knowing the audience desired more action, John placed an increased emphasis on submissions. Submitting an opponent is the ultimate objective of any match where one opponent forces the other to tap out and admit defeat. With his team, John began to practice and perfect a variety of leg locks, heel hooks, and other submission techniques. Now, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is as thrilling to watch as it is to compete in. Over the years, Danaher has developed a reputation as one of the foremost minds in grappling and is widely regarded as one of the greatest coaches in modern BJJ history. Despite this, he continues to look toward furthering his knowledge in order to benefit both himself and those around him. John Danaher has devoted his life to being a BJJ coach and mentor to his students. He lives simply and does not expect any gain or reward for his efforts, only that his students practice diligently and continue learning the art of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Truly, he is the maestro of BJJ. His contributions to the sport of Jiu-Jitsu will continue to be felt for generations to come. You can't go through life doing the same things as everybody else and expecting to get different results.